play audio. Oh, this is an audio thing. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I, I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life wow. on the board isn't <laughs> perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, um. back, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. That went after zero. <laughs> How did it keep going after the tape had ended? Uh, okay. Ooh, more pre-war money. Excellent. But I, I, I think his whole thing about the, oh, the vault being safe is kind of not true, considering that half the people are dead now. Ooh, it's locked. Very easy. What happens if I go through it? What's in there? Open door. Okay. A dresser. A bobby pin. Oh! This must be the overseer's office. Because that's him. And Amada. When she was little, I guess. What a very sterile looking picture. What's in here? Medical clipboard. Ooh, more stuff. Overseer's office key. Oh, how handy! And I didn't even have to talk to him. That's good. Wait, who are you? Oh, that's Amada. I'll talk to you in a second. She looks remorseful. Coffee. Can I make myself coffee? No. That's lame. I want coffee. Use key. Ooh, ooh, how exciting. Let's talk to her first, though. And let's also save. Yay! Saving. Alright. Let's go talk to her. Let's go have a chat. Oh my god. I had no idea my father would I, I had I had no choice, Officer Mackey. Here, take it. I don't want it anymore. I don't know what I'd do if I still had the gun and my father came looking for me. But what if he does? Then what are you gonna do? What if he's mad because you kill his buddy? That's not a good uh, plan. <laughs> you had no choice. You only did what you had to do. Nice job. I had no idea you were so good at shooting people. That's terrible. I'll be sure to put this gun to good use. Thanks. Uh, this one. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. No, you're gonna make it, right? Well, if you're just gonna sit in this chair, then you'll be fine. But oh, Jonas, so sad. Aww. <laughs> a carton of cigarettes. Ooh, they're worth a good deal. I'll take those. Wait, did I ever search this section? I don't think so. Because I was distracted by Jonas's body. Is there actually anything here? I don't think so. Just some stupid clipboard. Alright. Let's go into the office. Uh, okay, yes. I entered the overseer's office. Ooh. Interesting window. A term locked terminal? Ooh, this locker has stuff in it. What is... Ooh... Ooh, Overseer's Terminal Password. Excellent! <gasps> Why does he put a password in the locker right next to the terminal? Alright, sorry about that. Um, What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was hacking the terminal. 
Okay, welcome to Robco Industries TM. Oh, something. It changed. View security dossier. Oh, look, I can look at... I can look at all his private stuff. Tunnel snakes. If Butch and his leather-clad delinquents accost Amada one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their... Acerbic teacher? What? Their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit. But they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. What the hell were you doing to Butch? Beatrice? Just what Vault 101 needs. An absent-minded, sexually repressed psychophant. Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. Well, maybe at least... Uh, we maybe at least... We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. This guy is terrible. Jonas. I never should have assigned Jonas as James's assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in the maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. I don't like this guy, Amada. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this vault what it is today. A loyalty, honesty, commitment, hard work. Well, you don't seem honest or loyal in any capacity. What are you talking about? Nor do you seem... Well, I guess you're, he's kind of committed, and I don't know if he works hard, but definitely not honest. She does try, and with a lot of guidance, has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer, not the father that has cared for her alone. Alone, since she was an infant. Back. Okay. Scouting reports. Report 22410210. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the ground radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to be still common, um, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry more or to carry ample supplies of radix with us uh, on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless. The town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin, and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. Wait a second, I thought he said that you're not allowed to leave the vault. Was he leaving the vault? Okay, 22410210, Exhibit A. Okay, that's a, that's a nasty looking thing. Exhibit B. I don't know what that is. Back. Vault tech instructions. Letter from Dr. Stanislaw Braun. A letter to the overseer from Dr. Stanislaus Braun. If you are reading this, emergency vault internment procedures have been initiated and you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations! <laughs> Yay! We're sealed in the vault! You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that deviation from these protocols in any way... In any way what? No. Continue. Oh, there we go. Will jeopardize the success of the program, and may be considered grounds for termination by Vault Tech Corporation, as outlined in your employment agreement. Um, your vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GEC module. Please see attachment A for details. Dr. Stanislaus Braun, Director, Societal uh, Preservation Program, Vault Tech Corporation. Wait, did I? I want to. Was I? Did I actually finish this one? Ooh, see, there we go. There was actually more to read. We encountered a group of monstrous ants, which appeared to confirm McKay's um, theories of mutation due to extended exposure of radiation. 
We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to the vault. See Exhibit A. Wait, so they were bringing mutated bugs in here? What the hell is going on with this place? The good news is that human civ civilization still th survives despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton, see Exhibit B, whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the capital wasteland, as the area around Washington, D.C. is now called. Okay, so that's where I am. I'm in Washington, D.C. Uh, from them. Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization, of sorts. <laughs> that's, that's really pretentious. But it seems that giant ants are the least of the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey plans in light of what we had learned. Lewis and Agnes uh, remained in Megaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. Ann Palmer, survey team leader, February 10th, tw uh, 2241. Okay. So they were sneaking out. Naughty, naughty. Did, okay, did any of these have anything more to say? I guess not. Nope. Okay. Uh, vault tech instructions, attachment A. Vault 101 will not receive a GEC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the overseer's seed sealed orders. Vault tech scientific entry, the GEC. The GEC is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by vault tech a terraforming module capability um, of creating life from completely complete lifelessness. Wow, that's cool. After uh, riding out the storm of nuclear Armageddon in a vault tech patented vault, residents can then activate the GEC and create a new earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a GEC module. Okay. Open Overseer's Tunnel. What does that do? Ooh, ooh. Open the vault door. Okay. Where do I where do I go now? Ooh. That's fancy. That's fancy. Look at this cool stuff. Let's save. Before going down into the abyss. Look at that. His desk is disguised. It's actually a hidden staircase. What a sneaky man. What's this? Electrical switch. What did that do? Oh, it sealed it. Okay. I'll seal myself in. Sure. Ooh, a cockroach. Die! Oh, I busted off its wings. Take that. Hopefully I'll be able to, like, get to a shop or something and sell all this junk. At some point. Okay, go there. To the entrance of Vault 101. Auto-saving. Where am I? Activate switch. Is there anything else here? I guess not. Activate the switch. Ooh. 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 Where am I? Wait, I never got to go downstairs up there. Oh, boo. Fine. I don't care. Requires key. Do I have the key? Nope. Oh my god, the overseer still doing the whole reporting business? That's annoying. Um... Can I actually, like, go back to the place? I guess I can. Did I... Um... Local map? Oh, I guess I can only see the actual... this... this map. And I can't go there. That's a shame. Wait, I want to just peek back in here and see if I access to all the places that are available. It shouldn't take that long anyway. 
Okay. Let me see map. Uh, is there anything here that I didn't look at? I guess not. Okay. Then we'll go back. That was a waste of time. 